Today I have a speed paint of an idea I wanted to draw out. I did a couple of initial sketches. I really wanted to draw a girl holding a cup of tea for some reason. I think that the day I drew it, it had been raining all day and was overcast, so I wanted to just cuddle up with a cup of tea and a book. So that's pretty straightforward where the inspiration came from. I used my tea mug as like the base for that circle because I don't have a compass. <laughs> But yeah, and so I just laid out like some, you know, washes of red and blue and then I got these Pentel Aquash uh, paintbrushes. They're pretty popular for Secret Santa this past year and I just wanted to really test them out and see how they were compared to regular paintbrushes and I absolutely love them. I think that they're very easy to control as far as water goes because the water is held inside the pen so you can pretty much just control um you know how much water you want to come out even though i do mix it on the palette before i put it on the paper uh but i think you just have a lot more control over it and it's great for traveling because you don't have to worry about carrying paintbrushes and then something to carry your water in yeah so that's pretty much it this is just me sort of exploring how that was like and i think i'm going to be using these brushes more in the future so yeah please stay tuned i'm still pretty new to using watercolors um i'm not by no means an expert uh i used to paint with india inks a lot and i would dilute them with water and it kind of achieved the same effect but um, lately, I've been really getting more into watercolors because it practices my patience along with some of the cool techniques you can get just by uh, playing around with like wet on wet, dry on wet. Um, but for now, I'm mainly sticking to two main colors um, and using like one darker color. So in this one, I'm using a blue and a red and then I'm mixing both of them with this nice earthy dark brown color uh, to sort of get this more um, clear color palette across the entire drawing. Um, it's worked for me. I mean, I'm pretty sure I, I'll get to that point where I'll try to explore um, with maybe like three or four, five different colors. But um, for now, I think it's nice just to practice values. Um, that's I think that's pretty important to make sure that you have your lights and your darks. And I think that's really easy to practice with, with just two colors. Um, yeah, and so like even for the hair, you know, I'll layer it in like one wash of red and then I'll go in with a deeper purple and then with a blue, but I'm still trying to stick within that zone, like that same tone area. Well, one thing I forgot to mention is that I did use a liquid masking fluid here. It's the Windsor & Newton one built especially for watercolors. Um, I was recommended this one and it's worked really well. It doesn't rip the paper, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. I upload weekly and thank you.